I want this image to look as if I shot it with a Canon IO6 Pro standard. So I just click on it and you can see what happens to the image. So this is the before and this is the after. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tunde Victor and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I process my raw image using Capture One. So once I import my image to Capture One, so the first thing I'll do, I'll come to my color tab right here and I'll come to my base characteristics. You can see this image was shot with a Nikon Z5 and I'm going to change this um, ICC profile to make this image look as if I shot it with a Canon. So I'll just click on this ICC profile, look for Canon and um, look for the kind of Canon I want. I want this image to look as if I shot it with a Canon IO6 Pro standard. So I'll just click on it and you can see what happens to the image. So this is the before. And this is the after you can see the first change that has already happened to this image so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to um play with my white balance to see which white balance was better for this image because looking at this image right now i feel the image is too warm so i'm just going to bring my kelvin to my um blue side like this and i think i like it like this so after changing my icc profile I work on my white balance so next thing i'm going to do i'll come to my exposure tab right here so i'll click on exposure tab and i'll just scroll all the way down to my high dynamic range right here and i'll just bring down my highlights a bit like this and i'll open up my shadows like this and i'll bring down my white because I feel the image is looking, um, the highlight is still too much. So I'll just bring down my white. I don't want to reduce my highlight all the way down like this because I don't want to, I don't want to lose the whole highlight in the image. So I'll just bring it down a bit like this. And I'll bring down my white to compensate for that. And next thing I'm going to do, I'll bring down my blacks a little bit like this. To add a bit of contrast to the image like this. And after that, I'll come to my levels, I'll push my blacks in like this, and I'll push my whites in like this. So let's see where we started from and where we are right now. This is where we started from, and this is where we are right now. So I feel the exposure of this image is still um, too dark. So I'm just going to bring, bring my brightness up a bit like this, and I think I like it like this. So let's see uh, before and after. After making my basic adjustment to Capture One, I'll just come to my Crop Tool. I like cropping my image in Capture One if possible. So I'll just click on it and select my Crop Ratio to 4x5 because I'm posting for Instagram. So if you are posting for Instagram, make sure your Crop Ratio is 4x5. So I'll just crop this image 4x5 in Capture One if it's possible to crop in Capture One. And also, I can rotate the image to make the image look straight if the image is not looking straight. And just click on enter but if i try to crop this image 4x5 in capture one and it's not working for me i'll just go straight to photoshop and copy the image in photoshop but if i can copy to capture one and it's possible to copy to capture one i crop my image in capture one so after doing all my basic adjustments my um cropping my high, um, high dynamic range using my highlights my shadows everything so i just come to this place right here like right click on the image and click on edit with adobe photoshop so make sure your um under your basic make sure your uh format is on tiff if it's not on tiff make sure you change it to tiff and make sure you are using 16 bits or 8 bits whichever works for you make sure your option right here is on uncompressed if it's on any other option change it to uncompressed and make sure your icc profile is on rgb make sure your resolution is on pixels on inches and your scale is on fixed so once you are done just click on edit variant and it's going to automatically open in photoshop so that's how i process my raw image using capture one so let me just do a quick recap the first thing i did so i changed my icc profile to canon ROC post standard and you, and you can change your own icc profile to any camera you want that works for you next thing i did i come down to my um high dynamic range i reduce my highlights i open up my shadows i bring down my white and i bring down my blacks and for my levels, I just I just push in my shadows inside and they are just pushing my highlight inside as well. 
and also I increase the brightness of this image a little bit and I crop this image so let's see our before and after this was our before and this is our after if you learned it from this video make sure to hit on that like button so that more people can see this video and learn from this video I'll see you guys in my next video stay creative